Hey, how's everybody doing? Well, we're back. I went ahead and made a wheel, a cheese wheel. Uh, just to save some time, I went ahead and go ahead, went ahead and made it. Um, now, it's not included in the mod yet. All I did was just make a, a model for the wheel. Which, you know, you can make wheels, you can use the game wheels. Um, in this particular case, I just made a cheese wheel now if I understand this right I probably I understand it right I probably don't know how to explain it right or maybe a little both I might be half wrong on but this is the part that I'm not 100% sure on it's gonna take me a bit to work out the details but I'm pretty sure if if both wheels are using the same model I just leave the models perfectly in the center here so that it's centered to the 3D cursor, which um, you know that would be object geometry to origin. No, no, it wouldn't. Set origin 3D cursor geometry to origin. That's how you do it. And I'll apply all transforms just for good measure. Now. As in before, the mesh is not made for the cheese wheel, so we'll need to include that. So, we'll go to the mod folder. Cube and uh, main.material. And just like before, we got to add another one, so we'll put a bracket and a comma, and I'll just borrow this stuff up here I must have not have saved because I did more than that uh, yeah you know what I've noticed this damn thing likes to make duplicates for some crazy damn reason I don't know I don't know why it does it but yeah, it made two materials for the same material. The first time it's done that. And the thing is, is you'll get one of them in there and it'll be the wrong one. I don't know why the hell it does that. But maybe something to do with manually adding it. I don't know. I ain't going to try to figure it out now. I just assume it's a bug and maybe they'll work it out and I don't have to worry about it. But I ain't really worried about it. I just know how to get around it if it happens and that's what I'm doing. What is a diffuse map for our cheese wheel? Cheese diffuse. I went ahead and converted these to DDS to all of the textures so they'll run better. And like I said, I'll just put the defuse in there. <clears throat> Where is it? And all the others, I'll just... See, I like to add them in the game so I can see, like, what they're doing in real time. Like, which one's affecting which and which way. Maybe I don't want to put that one because it did this or did that. So, I'll just stick to the basic defuse. Actually... I got a ray traced one too. So if I show you the, uh, this is just the defuse, and then I ray traced it so that it baked the ray trace lighting in, and that would be this one. So we'll see what the ray trace one looks like. It may look good. And that is cheese rt dds. So make sure you put that in there. Yep. So we'll save. Now our material's in there. Now we need to I don't know why that don't look right. That's how you spell wheel, isn't it? I don't know, for some reason I just don't look right. Alright. We didn't the mesh plane, that's the J beam, we're not sending that. Now this is the one thing that's different than other stuff because well, 
like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm not even going to try to explain it. We're just going to re-export all this shit. Overwrite the DAE that's in there now with selection only since we're not sending the mesh plane. And since the there was two nodes, remember, that did each wheel, uh, well, we'll have to put this mesh, this flex body, we'll have to put that probably in two places. So if we go back to our JBM thing here, I remember earlier when I, I made group wheel one, group wheel two, well the flex bodies here, what I'll probably have to do and it's probably still going to take some adjustment I probably have to look into how to add the offsets in there so we offset each one so now they're both using cheese wheel uh, but one's wheel one, one's wheel two, but it's the same damn mesh. Now, likely, likely, it's not going to automatically move the damn wheels over there, but it may. Just like I said, this is new for me, I don't know. I think you got to add that all that shit that says position xyz rotate xyz scale xyz and then you gotta manually adjust uh its location and all that good stuff but i don't know we, we we're gonna be optimistic we're gonna be optimistic um we're gonna be optimistic so it's gonna work it's gonna work Let's save and load. Well, damn, that was quick, wasn't it? Yeah, see, our wheel is in the middle. It's in the middle. So we get to figure out the offset shit. Let me finish my cheese texture because that doesn't look good. So we got the base color cheese detail I got the metallic uh, I baked it glossy for that and I don't know if it's gonna look good maybe it does maybe it don't no I didn't I forgot oh well it's getting the it's getting the roughness map there uh, normals damn I can really tell that's a low resolution Ooh, now it doesn't look good now. I look like a cheese wheel. All these maps just all kind of work together. Make it look good. It didn't take long to bake these either. Maybe like, I don't know, a few minutes. Maybe about 10 minutes worth of time baking stuff. We, we. Yeah, you see there's two meshes there, right? You do see that. There's two of them. Since we having two groups, we just got to get them in the right place. And I don't want to mess with this all day. I don't know if I like the ray trace cheese or if I prefer just to have the diffuse in there. Because it's not really ray traced, of course. It's, it's just... Uh, Not even yellow to be honest I thought it'd be more yellow maybe that's just in the cartoons it's just in the cartoons man that they're yellow like that real life cheese isn't yellow or is it let's try a different map in the metallic let's just not put any map maybe it ain't got no metallic to it Metallic kind of gives it a little sheen, but 
I don't think cheese reflects anything. Oh. It's just kind of got a little shine to it. Let's save and let's go on a mission. We're going on a mission to figure out what those damn values are to offset the mesh. So we'll go to a vehicle that's already established in the game well, like the pickup truck. Uh, actually, its wheel, J-Beam, is in the comments folder, I believe. It's not going to be in there. Well, it shouldn't matter. I could pretty much pr should be able to pull up any wheel in here. And... Uh, See how they got their stuff here set up. That's what I'm looking for. That. So, I, this is the same thing as the editor. Uh, it's just, you know, like a little picture in here. So, That's what I needed. Oops, I, I copied too much shit. I don't need all that. Or, alright, that's how. I, oh, that's how we do it. Now, I don't know where the hell X Y Z is. I know Z X Y Z. If it's all zero, it's the dead, dead balls middle. Um, I have to go back to. Blender, uh, it would be moving along the Y axis since that's the green line. If it was the red axis, it'd be X, it'd be that be moving it that way. And of course, Z is up and down. We ain't moving it there at all. We just need to move it along the Y. So, how much? Well, well, I don't know. Let's move it a little bit and see how far. And then here it's moving. So it's moving on along about the uh, 0.6 M. What is M? I don't know. I'm not a metric person. Uh, 0.8, rather. 0.88. Well, that's a good start. We'll just, along the Y, put 0 0.88. Now, I do know because I made it that the damn thing is perfectly lined up in the center as far as that axis goes so this would be zeroed out because it's not moving in that direction if we wanted it to move in that direction it'd be moving along the x-axis but it's dead center so this shouldn't make it work. Oh, the scale. Well, I didn't consider that. I also didn't consider the rotation. I don't know them scales. That's probably not good for me. I think I got pretty close. Just estimating in my head. Uh, the scale. But what the scale should do if it's more or less than one if it's less than one and say you scale y like 0.5 then it should make it look like that but it's going to deform the damn mesh be better not to do that and if you scale it along the x-axis it'll squish it out like that and the z-axis like that 
but if everything's one 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 it shouldn't do anything because everything's one to one to one so let's save it and let's hope let's cross our fingers God, I hope they fix that shit. I can't emphasize enough how much that annoys my ass. Well, I will move. It did. But, apparently, apparently, the game thinks X is Y, and Y is X. Why? I don't know. But it is apparent that it moved uh, that way instead of the other way. But at least we're on to something, right? We're making progress. Oh. Oh, look what I did. <laughs> I made those adjustments to the pigeon wheel, not my cheese wheel. Well, of course it ain't going to move. It isn't going to be in the right place. And that's why the game stuff is zipped up so you don't overwrite making mistakes and screw up all the pigeons in the game. Because they would all be messed up. Or everything that used that wheel. We should be good. I think they're going to do it. Mm hmm. I think you're going to be all right in the time. Mm -hmm. Well, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, oh, you know. One's got to be minus, and the other got to be plus. All right. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Now, why is it still offset? I told X to be zero. Maybe my axle is not at zero. I didn't consider that. That could be. Uh, let's uh, look in here. Let's open that mesh plane and look at it. Yeah, it's. I don't know. I ain't gonna try to figure it out either. I'm just gonna move the damn thing. So let's uh, let's let's do let's try that. If that don't work, we we'll go the other way. Yeah, we gotta go the other way. Had the wrong way. We take the minus out of there. And something is off, man. I don't think that matters. But something's off. It's moving along the wrong. Oh, you dumb bastard. Pause the game. Reload the... Sp respawn it. Because I was looking at it after the fact after it's done broken it around and shit so of course I got my damn axis is wrong but see that's X you know and at first X is well you yeah, understand what I mean reset it spawn it so that it's right if you want to do this so oh shit we're off Let's just do one at a time. But we're focusing on this one. So that's why it should, if I give it more why, it should move out there a bit. Hey, 
1.15 and if that's going to be good then this should be good 1.15 just the other direction well that 0.5 might have been a bit much Oh, you know what? It is perfectly at zero. But that's not where the J beam's at. Oh, so it is spawning in the right place. With uh it's just we got to make the offset. I don't know what I'm thinking. So that would actually be that'd be Z. So, the higher the number, the higher it comes off the ground. I believe, or is it the other way around? So, like, it, one would be one meter above the ground. Point, point three would be, like, point three meters above the ground. But if you can do that, you got to put zero point, zero point three. Alright, we getting there folks. We'd probably go zero point four. And that probably put us right right where we need to be. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Right. Got a little bit 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 more. A bit more to go. Yep, we need to come up more. Probably point five. And we gotta scale the wheel next. Cause it's a little too big. Alright, we need to move it over. Now this is a useful thing. I go into the config debug and say only show me like half opacity so you can see through the mesh so you can see we need to come back some that was this one that's damn close now let's mess with the scale. Now this is where people ask about cars all the time, car wheels and stuff. This is where, well, you could adjust the damn wheels, J-beam, to, to match the mesh by uh, adjusting this stuff here. Where you see we got wheel radius, wheel width. Maybe I should do both. So you can kind of see. So the wheel radius, if I make that smaller, and since this is doing both wheels, it'll just make the wheel radius smaller. That probably would get us closer to. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. It's the other direction. So smaller the number. What was it before? Well, of course I can't control Z because this doesn't damn remember shit. So uh, six. I don't remember what was in there. I don't remember. Man, that ain't right either. I, that is what damn radius is, huh? I don't know. Maybe it ain't. I thought that was the damn radius. I'm not a math person. But how are we getting there? So yeah. That's uh that's it there. 
that's close enough it's not exactly perfect but it's pretty damn close now I could offset the J beam a bit I believe by in the thingy here a point one that ain't the right way and they both moved uh, at the same time they didn't like equally go out like you know what I mean they both went I think they both scooted that direction or did they no they did they did both come in we just got a, we just went the wrong way so you would just do instead of negative it would just be plus Yeah, right now we're just way off now. Just way off, man. Way off. And I know that that's what the global scalers are good for. Like what uh, scales all the shit at one time, the beams and the DAE. You, know, you don't have to do all this stuff, but I don't know how to use them. Maybe one day I'll get into it, but I ain't in no hurry to learn it. move it all did it going the wrong way man It ain't gonna be perfect. It's good enough. Now, if you wanted to know how to scale the tire the mesh, you could do that in the flex body. That's what these are for. Like you could do 1.1. It'll just make the mesh larger. But it doesn't match the J-beam. See, so you got two different things. You got the beams, you got the J-beams, right? And so that's how you would make the mesh move. Now, the problem with doing the mesh that way is it's going to be, the ground's going to be eating it. Because that's not really where the J-beam's at. So... That's why if you do stuff like this, you would be better off getting the J-beam right first, how you want that to be, then worry about the model, the DAE. Because if one ain't right, the other ain't going to look right. But you want the J-beam to look right. That's the one that's going to uh, be what you see. Now, I didn't actually think this would would be a very effective uh, mode of transportation. And as you can see, there's another issue. And I guess you can see what that issue is. Now, I don't have no idea why it's doing that. I don't know. I'm not going to try to figure it out. I damn did enough tonight. I'll probably try to figure it out, but I'm not I'm not doing it now. Uh, I'm not probably even going to record it. I'll just, if I figure it out, I'll, I'll update. But I'm done for tonight. I'm tired. It's, wheels have...
shit's all messed up. Uh, that damn J-beam exporter, man. It's got duplicate beams. Oh well, that's it for for now. I'll uh, figure it out later.